All right, we the topic I was really going to get to, and it and it had to do uh, this week was Triple H's fifty uh, second birthday. So I I bringing back a a what if, if you will. What if? What if? Um, uh, Triple H's legacy as we know it, uh, you know, stands up with, with some of the best and, but some people I'm sure it, within the industry probably think that has to do with the, uh, with the family that he married into. Um, so if we go back to, you know, what late, late nineties and, and what if Triple H does not marry Stephanie McMahon. Does his is his career trajectory the same? Does he get fourteen world title shots, uh, title victories? Does he? You know, is is does NXT exist in the form that we know it? Like, or is Triple H and and what he's become even now? Um, is that a product of the the family that he married into? So what was the question? What if? I, the board's so, All right, I got it. You don't have to play it again. I understood it now that Tim described it for me. <laughs> um, I don't hate this show. I hate you some weeks, Ryan. I swear to God. I don't even, I don't even care. Wait till you see what I wear to the ball game tomorrow. Oh, uh, if you wear a Young Bucks shirt, I will light it on fire. That he's gonna set you on fire. I think Triple H still wrestles full time if he doesn't sign if he doesn't marry Stephanie. Like he would still probably be wrestling. Oof. He would be like he would be Ric Flair, he would be Dusty Rhodes going way too old, way too long. I mean, he's still in really fine shape. I think I think that but I think Triple H sticks around. I really do. So it was, he doesn't become the executive and no and a leader of NXT and I mean, all that's, no. that's a bigger what if then because what happens to NXT? Right. Nothing. Not, not there is get, no there is no NXT. Not to get dark, does China go down the path that she does? Because they broke up. Right, like he when he split with her to to you know date and marry Stephanie. So yeah, that's um Wow, that's yeah, it's definitely an interesting side of it. I hadn't even thought of that. Steph is a home wrecker. <laughs> um, Ryan or Matt, and any uh, your your thoughts on this? I don't think there is an NXT at all. I think Triple H probably had a play in that the whole way. From Maybe still up. FCW. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's an NXT because I don't think Vince McMahon owns the WWE anymore. I think he sells this a few years ago and unloads it uh, maybe five years ago to somewhere Universal, NBC, Fox, uh, the UFC guys. He's he's out. I think Shane McMahon sticks around and never leaves. The best, best. in the world. Is this who Darby was talking about last night? I didn't even get oh, it. Now I'm taking my headphones off. Because of the Darby comment, that's that's why these are coming. <laughs> Shane McMahon! Wild times. Um, but I think Shane stays around. He I never didn't leaves. Even get that you said Shane McMahon. <laughs> I was like, he said, and pause. I'm like, why are you pausing? Welcome. It's been a Welcome week. Welcome to Three Count Thursday, right? I guess, yeah. <laughs> a one week off, I forget everything. And literally every single thing. Um, I can't wait till GCW does their War Games show. I know. That'll be a blast. Gage. In War Games! War games! War games! War games! Now, can they call it that, or do they have to come up with like a different creative uh, name for it? I know Mance Warner straight up called it that. I was <laughs> curious because didn't PWE call it that when they did it? Sure did. Okay. They absolutely didn't. 
although they called it a chamber of hell, not a hell in the cell, because they were worried about that. Well, as I think what, at the time was like was war games really like being used at all? War games. War games. War games. That's fair. War games. War games. So they probably weren't like concerned about people coming at them because it wasn't. Yeah, hell in a cell was being matches used being used all the time. So, do you legit have that? Yep, there it is. <laughs> War games. War games. War games. Pointed at it. A picture's no. worth a thousand war games. <laughs> In war games. War games. War games. War games. Uh oh. Costco just texted me. Jeffrey, your code printed on your receipt is incorrect. Up, oh, you better send them your social security number. Shit, Jeffrey, I better get it right on that. Jeffrey Bezos. That's what I go by. <laughs> that song is fucking the oh. dumbest, best thing in the entire world. Um. But to our to our what if, what if? Um, I yeah I I think I think Triple H I don't know if he's still wrestling full time now. So um, like is your question? Does he have the amount of title reigns he does if he's not the dating the boss's daughter slash married to the boss's daughter? Was that the initial question? I, I think it's just what what is what does Triple H's career in WWE from basically the 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 point that you know the the Stephanie McMahon storyline started because at least in this story we've been told on WWE documentaries for the last twenty years or whatever it is um, it's that that you know that's where it all started so if that's if that storyline doesn't happen and they don't get married what it, what what is Triple H's trajectory what's his what's his career like from there does does he get all the 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 title wins does he bury everyone quote unquote at wrestlemania does where was he at in his career when this happened what year did they get married um, and didn't he like just roofie her and marry her like storyline wise yeah start of like their actual like that storyline was the start of their actual like relationship right well, yeah, that's how you would woo any woman naturally. Correct. Yeah, I mean that is how not married. Bill Cosby. That is not how you would uh, woo any woman. Um, but I mean, yeah. at that point, he was says the married guy and had to woo his wife. Okay, Jim. He he had already done DX and the corporation oh. storylines. So, I mean, how many? I don't think he had had a title run yet, though. At that point, correct. Um, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to like scan over beyond uh, like the IC title tag titles, like not a. Okay. Was WCW around when this happened, or was this post yeah. WCW? I think they were still around. Then my answer it goes back and becomes terrorizing again. <laughs> so I think it was around 2000 that the Stephanie McMahon um, storyline, the McMahon Helmsley era started in two, 2000. So it would have been right, you know, late 99, early 2000 is when the McMahon Helmsley um, storyline started taking off. So that was. And he becomes the fourth superstar in the Young Dragons of the New Blood <laughs> in WCW. But uh, he hadn't had like a, a heavyweight title reign at that point, correct? No. Okay. No, at that point there wasn't there wasn't a a title reign. So like the the knee injury, you know, the 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 McMahon Helmsley era, the corporation, the title reigns, the return from the from the blown out quad, the return, the, the undisputed champion, and the the, the countless what, for what fourteen, fifteen? I can't remember what the the one from the Royal Rumble a couple of years ago. I think we might might have been fifteen. Um, all of those title reigns happened after. <laughs> happened after. Uh, I I think I think he I think he wins some titles if, if, if this storyline and then turning into a real life marriage um 
because I mean he's he's a talented in ring worker. There's no there's no questioning that. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think he gets to the to the height and the number of title reigns that he does. I you know, certainly certainly not um NXT. I mean, I think they still have a developmental system of some kind because, like, Ohio Valley Wrestling was there before while he was still a full time competitor. So I think they they have some form of developmental. Whether or not that develops into what NXT has become, I, I I don't I don't think. Or maybe somebody else runs it. Maybe Shawn Michaels runs it before him, and maybe Shawn Michaels doesn't even have that much sway because Triple H isn't uh, isn't backstage. So. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that he, he had a he had a championship in early two thousand. He fought Mick Foley in the Rumble match uh, in the street fight. And that would have been right, February was, of that year. Was that was that before the January of that year. It would have been but January, was, right? Yeah, but I think when what are we talking about? We had when just asked was, the, he, was he a champion. Before he got married, he well, he didn't get technically. He did not get married until to Stephanie until two thousand three. I think we're talking. Are we talking storyline married? We're talking the storyline marriage. Like, what did he have any title reigns before that storyline? No. Okay, not WWE title. No, right. He doesn't that- win his first title until Stephanie and Triple H are married. Okay. So then, yeah, I mean, it's not outside the realm possibility to think that he doesn't see the success that he has now. Mm -hmm. It's not far fetched to see him join another company down the road. Maybe he would have been the first AEW champion and not Chris Jericho. I don't think so. (laughs) Um, More of an impact star. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Charlie says, if Hunter doesn't marry Steph, he still winds up where he is now. Maybe not the exact same position. Uh, would be another Michael P.S. Hayes or Regal. Do, do, do. Um, you know see. who he, you know who he would probably end up being? Like a Bill DeMott. Like a, a Matt Bloom. Like, okay. head trainer. Mm. Yeah. Um, but then there probably is definitely no NXT. Right. Like NXT as we know it doesn't exist. Nicholas he probably, he probably tries well. to push for it, but Right. It doesn't it doesn't land exactly the same. So then who does Stephanie marry? Mm, oh. Does Stephanie does Stephanie end up falling in love with somebody else in the WWE? Great well, colleague. She had the storyline with Test that right led up to that. Like, if that storyline doesn't exist and she goes through with the marriage of Test storyline wise, it's not hard to imagine that something develops there, I guess. But I think they, and I'll be honest with you, and I don't want to speak ill of the dead, <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> All praise Andrew Test Martin, but um, I really think that, like, if Test. And Stephanie were to have gotten married, they'd probably have been divorced in like record time. You don't think Tess would have been a 15 time WWE champion? I don't think he'd be. A 15, I don't even think he'd be a 15 month McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. Because he's definitely taking her name. Yes. Point. Andrew Nobody, McMahon. <laughs> Stephanie McMartin, no thanks. But then uh, another thing, you know, not to get dark, but does Test then survive because Jesus he go down the Test path. dies early, <laughs> earlier than he did. Yeah, <laughs> the stress of being Vince's uh, son-in-law just uh, Jesus too much. Christ. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, this is this is literally how we feel whenever you talk. That's fair. I don't... <laughs> Um, yeah, Fair. Charlie, I think hit a point that that we had, had kind of grazed over is what happens to China if if the Stephanie angle China doesn't uh, doesn't take place. Yeah, I mean that, China. That was the start of her. Well, I guess it, I guess I shouldn't say because she did have some like good storylines beyond that. 
Um, but her personal relationships, I think, went down the shitter once she was done with Triple H. Right. So I think probably, that was. I a... don't think her and Triple H survive together. And uh, at best case scenario, we put China on the level that Sonny is today. Unfortunately, I was going to say, do we see China's individual like breaking barrier success? Like, do we see her matches with Jericho with Jarrett? Uh, you know, we don't get the the Mama Sita storyline. Depending, depending how long, maybe her and Hunter were still together. Because I mean, the fact that she had all of those things. Even once he was in the McMahon family, and I don't know, was maybe there was, was it? You know, I'm not taking anything away from China and, and, and her talent, but like, did those things happen because Triple H and the McMahons felt bad? Like those individual pushes, and nothing to do with her talent. Did WWE push her because <laughs> of like guilt because of how the relationship broke? You know what I mean? Like. It's it's it's. I think it's a complex. Um, I think it's a complex situation, uh, and 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 whether or not her personal downfall would have occurred w with or without that relationship. Like, what if her and Triple H just split up and she gets let go from WWE? Is that a catalyst for there to be? You know what I mean? I I, I it's. It's it's not a it's not a, a pretty road to to think about for sure. It's it's you know it's 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 unfortunate. I think no matter how you look at it, Charlie said I don't think China's fall would have been as hard if Steph never came into their personal life. So yeah, maybe it's she deals with issues. I think Ryan, like you said, maybe how we are seeing unfortunately with Sunny now it is that you have you know you have issues, but you're. You're, you're alive, dude. You're still, yeah, you're, like, yeah, you're still alive and still. Yeah, working. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And again, I'm not trying to knock. That wasn't a dig on Sunny. I mean, people have issues. No, okay. no it, right. Correct. It Correct. wasn't. It wasn't. I have her book. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Can you read us an excerpt from that? I say, you, do you read uh, I'd have to. Uh, that's out on the bookcase. I, I'll, I'll bring that next week. Do you have the Bella's Not book <laughs> near, <laughs> nearby? I took, I took the Bella's book to the beach with me. <laughs> <laughs> to what, you leave it there. Table? I left it in the suitcase the entire uh, time. Do you have any wrestling book nearby that you could grab? I have the Bella book nearby. I don't know where it's at, but it's nearby. It's near my desk somewhere. I was gonna say, can you can you grab any you wrestling book the and the excerpt from it? No, I can't get it. I don't know where it's at. I saw that the Bella book was on sale when I was looking on my Kindle the other day, and I just <laughs> kept scrolling right past. Like, what, Drew McIntyre has a book now. They're just giving uh, books to everybody. It is Warrior Sword. <laughs> it, I think that's what it's called. Shut the oh fuck up. Look it up. Yeah. Please look it up and tell me what Drew it is. Drew McIntyre book. Warrior story. War is the tales of a Scottish warrior. If it's uh, called a warrior oh, it's story. It's not a warrior story. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is called A Chosen Destiny. Okay. Drew McIntyre, right. my story. It's even worse. <laughs> Walk a golden mile too. <laughs> Charlie says Paul and Joni were probably done. I don't think it would have been as ugly uh, or heartbreaking. And then, uh, of course, we talk about Sunny. <laughs> Hashtag she pooed him. Um, any other thoughts to the to the Triple H to the whatever? Yeah, I think I think he has a good career. I don't think it's a Hall of Fame career without marrying into the to the McMahon family. I think he would have because you have to you have to think Triple H also to a certain degree a lot of his success came because Stone Cold Steve Austin was hurt. Oh, okay. Like Austin he, was hurt. He also did have McMahon's ear early on if if the Bret Hart documentary is to be believed that he played a role in that decision. Well, that that's true too, because that was ninety seven. So, I mean, at worst case scenario, he goes with his buddies in WCW, joins the NWO, and ends up in the Hall of Fame that way. So, who does he lose to at WrestleMania thirty one? Then, <laughs> yeah, is is it him and Sting versus The Rock and Ronda Rousey? Or it's a tag, uh, it's a tag team match. It's the Rockers actually. <laughs> the Rockers back. 
Yeah, it's actually probably The Rock versus Sting, and Triple H comes out and air guitarist with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Um. All right. Let's. Uh. Let, let's. I keep... have. I have a, a a bit of breaking news. Actually, oh. Oh. I know that doesn't happen. Uh, some breaking news just coming across the wire from our friends at PPW at Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling PPW Entertainment. Uh, breaking news for their October show. Their October show is going to be October the ninth. In uh, in Broadheadsville, it's a beautiful town, uh, just north of us. Um, tickets are not Northwest, on sale yet. Northwest. Uh, it's actually northeast, I believe. <laughs> um, I think it's just straight north. Yeah, I think it's it, actually, it, just... It actually just maybe straight up. Was it eighty three? Yeah. yeah, I'm learning roads. How exciting! Thirty seven, thirty seven years old. Uh, it is going to be called PPW Dirty Dancing. PPW Dirty Dancing. Uh, starring a former WWE superstar, now known as Dirty Dango. No shit. Yes. Dirty Dango, uh, formerly known as Fandango, and uh, Tony Nice will be coming to PPW Saturday, October the 9th for PPW Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dango, what a great name. Dirty Dang, I love that. I like that more than Fandango. Or I Fandango. love Dirty Dango, yeah. We might have to go to that show. I will absolutely buy a Dirty Dango t-shirt. 100%. That That's fucking great. <laughs> um, works pretty well. <laughs> I mean, I'm already... I, have a, I have a Fandango shirt, so... I do, too. It's uh, it's it's in my bin of shirts. I hope to get skinny enough to wear again. Um, <laughs> we all have those. Uh, Scott, Scotty says Domino's versus AEW? Question mark. 